Alrighty guys, so in this video, this is actually a training that I did last week for my accelerator students. And I was answering the question of how has my agency and my business been impacted by the coronavirus and what are some things that I'm doing to adapt and change to the current situation and the current craziness that's going on, okay? So I broke it down into a few different sections here. I talk about the mindset, the way that you should look, or at least the way that I'm looking at this entire situation. Uh, some industries and niches that are still moving and shaking, they're still working even during this, all the craziness that's going on right now. What to do, or at least what I'm doing currently and things that you can do during this, this downtime. And what to say if you are talking, if you're still going out and reaching out to prospects or you have existing clients who are scared about this, I'm gonna give you some ideas on what to say. And then also, I'm gonna talk about how we've personally been affected in our agency and some things that we're doing to adapt and change to what's going on. So first off, let's talk about the mindset, right? So I'm not like a really fluffy guy. Um, I'm not really like that the mindset guru or anything like that, but I wanna tell you how I'm looking at the situation and how I can keep a positive mindset and a, and a positive like outlook on life even with everything that's going on right now so the mindset is i look at this as something that's temporary as a hu as the human race uh, runs into obstacles and problems we always figure out ways to get over it right and if we if we don't we're basically all gonna die and we're all effed right but i like to stay optimistic i think that we're going to get over this situation this global pandemic we'll probably develop some kind of vaccine or whatever i'm not a doctor but I look at this as temporary. It's just some downtime. It's just some, some craziness going on right now and we're gonna get over it. And I look at this as a time of massive opportunity because more people are online now than ever before. And I think, I, I can't remember if it was, it was Vodafone or some company that, that, that serves or sells internet services, they uh, said they saw an, a 30% increase in internet traffic during this entire like quarantine time. So that's, that's, that's crazy, right? That a 30% increase in internet traffic, that is a massive increase. And if you have an online business, there has never been a bigger opportunity for you right now, right? So you wanna think about this. Everybody is at home, they're quarantined, they're stuck in their homes and they have nothing to spend their money on. They need to spend their money. They're bored out of their minds and they're just looking for things to spend money on. So they buy things they don't even need. Like I just went onto Amazon. I spent like 200 bucks on stuff yesterday on stuff that I absolutely don't need. And it's just because I'm bored. I have nothing else to spend my money on. Can't go to restaurants. I can't go to bars. I can't go to events. Uh, I can't do anything right now. And because of that, I'm bored out of my mind. I'm looking for things to spend money on. <laughs> Uh, and this is the same thing that's going on with people all over the world right now. They're stuck at home. And if you have a good product or service, it doesn't matter what kind of business you run, like an, an agency, an e-commerce store, an, an Amazon FBA business, whatever it is, if you have a good product or service that actually helps people, they are going to be online purchasing it more now than ever before because they have nothing better to do. So look at it as a massive opportunity, especially if you own an online business. Now I get this question every single day. Should you put your business on hold? And the answer is that depends. Do you have a service or a product that actually helps people at a core level? If the answer is yes, then now is the most critical time in recent history to be connecting your product or service with individuals or business owners or companies who need your help or your product or your service. If the answer is no, then now is the time to develop the skills and offer a service or a product that actually helps people at a core level. So what do I mean by this? If you have a crappy product or service, you are going to struggle in the next few months and for the foreseeable future, right? You're gonna be pushed out of the market because businesses are only going, businesses and individuals are going to spend their money on stuff that they need to survive, right? If you can help them with, with revenue and sales and leads and growth, these are things that, are, that directly impact the bottom line and help these businesses stay in business. It helps them to survive, right? So if you're offering a product or service that helps these individuals and businesses survive in tough times like this, then you will always be in demand. If you don't, if you have some kind of crappy product or service that doesn't actually help people that they don't actually need, then you are going to struggle, okay? So that's just the harsh reality and you know what kind of services that I like, anything directly tied and directly impacting the bottom line. That's my recommendation to you if you're asking what you should focus on developing right now. So that's the whole mindset piece. Uh, industries and niches that are still moving. These are industries and, and, and niches that are still in business and working even during this downtime. So grocery stores, this is obvious, right? The toilet paper craze. These guys are still in business. Grocery stores are, st are still operating at least right now at the filming of, of this video. 
My fiance works in a grocery store type place in the pharmacy department. She's a pharmacist and she still goes into work every day. Okay. So food, restaurants, delivery services, these guys are still working, right? I just ordered food from down the street at my at a local restaurant and bar and they still deliver food. So they need help with marketing services and getting people getting eyeballs on their restaurant to have people come in and order food. So they are still in business, even though people can't dine in at these restaurants right now. Financial services, accounting, it's tax season right now. And the, the stock market is all over the place. It's volatile right now, right? It's going crazy. So these guys are definitely working. They're in business and they're busier now more than ever. So yeah, they need, they still need services. They're still moving and shaking and you can reach out to these people and see if you can help them. Banks, uh, I just went and deposited a, a check last week. So the banks are still open. They're still serving their customers. You can reach out to them. Lawyers, these guys are still working as well. Online companies, so this is obvious. I just talked about it, but entrepreneurs and personal brands, info product companies, education and e-learning companies, e-commerce and physical product companies, software as a service and technology companies, any kind of agencies, right? Web, web design agency, graphic design agency, media agency, marketing, advertising, any kind of online agencies or internet businesses, these guys are still working at business as usual, right? You can reach out to them and see if you can offer them a service that can help them during these times. Tons of B2B industries that are still moving and shaking. And I know that this is just a short list. I came up with in like two, two to three minutes or so. And there's, there's a ton more that are still working and still moving along. And even if all these local businesses that are getting put on pause right now, they're getting shut down. Uh, yes, I'm not denying that it's a tough time for a lot of different businesses. But what I want you to look, look at this as when these other industries are going down, these local businesses that are going down and they are having a tough time right now, there's still industries out there and still niches out there that are seeing more business than ever and they need your help more than ever. So I want you to look, instead of like complaining, maybe you are working with like some kind of local business in your niche or your industry and they are putting everything on pause right now. Uh, I want you to look at the opportunity with other industries, right? Which leads me to the next page here on what to do. So what should you do if you're like, if you have clients in a local, in a local niche or a local industry and they're putting their stuff on pause? Well, you are an entrepreneur if you're watching this video, at least I hope so. And as an entrepreneur, it's time to put your creative hat on. So you always need to be thinking of new ways that you can help out the market. So what I want you to do is, don't, I talk about this all the time, right? Niches and niching down, but don't worry about niches at this time during all this craziness that's going on reach out to everyone that you know you can help. Okay, so this is what we're, do we're doing right now. We mainly work with technology companies and SaaS companies and agencies, agency, any kind of agency, right? But we are reaching out to companies that are in financial services right now and people that are lawyers, people that are accountants. We're reaching out to everyone that we know we can help with our service. Now, another thing you can do is reach out to your warm network. See if anyone that you already know, and this is like the easiest place to get clients. I'm surprised not more people do this uh, because it's so obvious, but reach out to your warm network and just tap shoulders and say, hey, do you know anyone who needs this kind of service during the coronavirus time? Like I know it's very uncertain right now and there's a lot of business getting hit hard. Do you know anyone that needs X, Y, and Z service? And you'd be surprised at how many people you can get as clients by just reaching out to your warm network and people you already know. Okay, so that's it. This is an obvious one. I, I haven't mentioned it before because I thought people were already doing this, but I, I see so many people just going straight for cold traffic before they even went and reached out to their warm network. So reach out to people you know, see if they know anyone or if they personally need your services and your help, and then offer them a discount, right? Offer discounts on your service to help these businesses get ahead of the curve and help them when things go back to normal, be in a place where they're ready to go. Okay, so you can offer your services at a discount for the first month or two and get people on board so that when things go back to normal, you guys are ready to go, both you and your client, and you can operate business as usual, right? Uh, another thing you can do is research other services you can offer that your existing clients or the market might need. And I'm gonna show you an example of what we did in the last week and a half or so that we've already secured two clients for on a high ticket service. So research other services that you can offer during this time, whether it's your existing clients or a new client, uh, research other services that you can offer to the market and your existing clients to help them get to wherever they're trying to go, right? I'm gonna show you an example of what we're, we're doing. Also, very important, spend this time sharpening your sword, learning and honing new skills. So I am spending 
three, four, five hours a day reading books, uh, watching, I'm in like a few different coaching programs and masterminds, watching some material that I didn't watch yet, learning and honing new skills. Uh, if, if you didn't watch my previous video on like the seven skills that can make you 10K a month or more, those are some of the skills that I'm focused on honing this year and especially during this downtime. So spend this time sharpening your sword, right? Don't spend it watching TV and, and watching Netflix and watching social media. Spend this time investing, learning, and honing new skills that move you and your business forward. And then lastly, be a creator instead of a consumer. And I know this is, this is easier said than done, but create content, create social selling posts, right? Put content on, on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook that get clients to come to you and be interested about what, about what you offer, right? And also what we've done is we create an email list with daily updates. So these are di different ideas of how to be a creator rather than a consumer, someone who just watches YouTube videos and watches Netflix all day long, okay? Be a creator instead of a consumer. Now, here's what you can say. So let's just say you are still reaching out to the market, which you should be. If you're reaching out to potential, potential prospects or maybe existing clients as well who are thinking about pausing, what do you say to them? Well, first off, be empathetic, right? Understand where they're coming from because a lot of businesses are getting hit hard. Some businesses are closing down and others, they have no idea what the future holds, right? They're, they're on pause for God knows how long and Las Vegas is shut down right now. I can't even fathom how much money they're losing every single day. But these businesses have no idea when they'll be able to open up again. So be empathetic. This is their livelihood at stake, right? So something you can say is, hey, Mr. Business Owner, due to the state of things, most businesses have stopped marketing or advertising and aren't getting new customers at the moment. We wanna help you get ahead of things and we know you're concerned about the coronavirus right now. So as a sign of goodwill, we're offering 50, 60, 75% off our normal service for the first month to make sure that we can help you get ahead of the curve for when things go back to normal, okay? So you're showing them hey, I understand where you're coming from. I understand your situation. I wanna help you out and I wanna help you get in a position where when things do go back to normal, you are ahead of everybody else, right? So you're going to the market, you're offering something of value, but you're also telling them, hey, I know what kind of rough situation that you're in right now. We're getting hit hard as well. And I'm willing to work with you to offer a discount to make sure that you are prepared and ready to go when things do get, go back to normal. So this is something very simple you can say, and this is what we're saying when we're reaching out to people. We are offering discounts of 25% off on our normal, ser normal service, and you can decide whatever that discount is, okay? Now, how we've been affected personally in our agency and what we've had to do to adapt and change. So the biggest thing is our messaging tone needed to be switched to address the COVID-19 concerns, right? So we are basically, growth response, if you don't know, we're basically a copy, copywriting agency. We create messaging and outreach for LinkedIn and cold email, and we reach out to our clients' target market or their niche on their behalf to try and generate leads and appointments for, for our clients. So we've had to adjust all of our clients' messaging tone to address the fact uh, that all this craziness is going on, everything with COVID-19 and all the concerns around that. So we've had to change our messaging for all of our clients, as well as our own agency to address that. That's been the biggest thing. We spent like a week and a half doing that. Now, yes, responsiveness has definitely slowed down, but we're still, we're still closing deals and we're still reaching out to people. We're still reaching out to other industries that we might not normally work with that can still use our service, right? Like I said, financial, insurance, accounting, the, the law industry, we're reaching out to other industries that we don't typically work with to see if we can help them out. Now, another thing that we did is we rolled out a new service last week and we've actually secured two clients for this now. But all we did was we reached out to our existing clients and said, hey, I know it's crazy right now. There's like mayhem going on, the global pandemic, all this stuff. Uh, I know that you have an email list because most of our clients do have email lists. They're already established businesses for our agency. So we asked them, hey, would you like us to nurture your list and generate sales from your existing email list? Because we noticed most of them are not even emailing once a week. So we, we rolled out a new package. Within like a couple days, I just created a new package of daily emails. So Monday through Friday, we are sending out daily emails for our clients to try and nurture their list and get sales from their existing list. And all we did, we slapped a price on of $3,500 per month for 20 emails, right, every weekday. And we're just, we're all, all I'm doing is creating a Google Doc just like this. And I'm creating 20 different emails that help to generate sales and I give this Google Doc to my client and they pay us $3,500 a month and they send these emails. That's really it, right? It's a low touch, 
low effort, at least for me, low effort type of service for us to roll out that gets massive value during difficult times like this. So that's what I mean when I said, always be thinking of new services and offers that can help your market and help your clients. This is what we've done, okay? Now, sharpening the sword and implementing daily. These are four things that I'm doing daily, right? So outflow, this is any kind of outreach, right? Cold email, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. I'm still doing outreach every single day or my team is doing outreach every single day and prospecting for new business. Content creation. So I'm creating an email every single day, actually seven days a week right now. I'm creating two YouTube videos every week and I'm creating five Facebook group posts every single week. So I'm creating content, I'm sharpening the sword, I'm practicing my copywriting skills and my closing skills and my sales funnel skills, right? I'm also creating a new book for growth response, my agency, right? So I'm, I'm creating a book on email marketing and outbound email and inbound email and how you can increase your sales using email marketing. I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one and group coaching calls still every single week, right? Almost every other day I'm doing these. So I'm, I'm always sharpening the sword. I'm always implementing daily. I'm moving myself and my business forward. And yes, I've been affected. Our responsiveness has slowed down. Our messaging tone needed to be changed across all of our clients as well as our agency, which was a pain in the, in the ass, right? Uh, but we're not stopping. We're sharpening the sword. We're implementing daily and we're continuing to move and move and move. We rolled out a new service at $3,500 a month for our starting price. We asked some existing clients if they would like it and two of them signed up for so far. I have some calls the rest of the week with three or four other of our existing clients to see if they wanna sign up for this. And uh, this is how we're moving along during tough times like this, right? If you're an entrepreneur, get your creative hat on and look at ways to adapt and look at this as opportunity and look at more ways that you can add value to your market and to your clients, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to answer the question, how has my business been imp impacted by everything that's going on right now? What are some things that I've done to adapt and change? What are some things that you can do to adapt and change? adapt and change to what's currently going on. And I really hope this was helpful to give you some ideas and insights on what not only what I'm doing, but what you can do in your own business, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, give me a like and comment below with any questions you have. If not, I will see you guys in the next video.